Yo, what's up? It's Nick here with Living Rich. I'm on my way walking to go on a first date with this girl I just met yesterday. <laughs> and yes. Um, also, also while I'm walking, I was listening to this book called The Future of God by Deepak Chopra. It's really funny. I just love listening to his accent. He reads it himself. But I found myself in the first part um, of the book uh, being irritated with what with what was being said or like I, I like felt it being uncomfortable because it's uh, I've kind of not had any set stance on belief of God or uh, you know religion whether for or against it and with him talking about God, it, it kind of lit up an uncomfortable response in me. And I was very tempted just to quit watching or quit listening to the audiobook and uh, just go just go on, move on to the next audiobook where I felt a little more secure and safe. I persisted a little bit. <clears throat> And today I decided to give it another chance. And, and it's still very new. And like I kinda I kinda understood, like part of me was like, okay, you know, this is a little, you know, a little weird right now. Um, a little uncomfortable. And but at the same time it's it is also it is also the first part of the book, and maybe he's making some sort of um, opening for the vast majority of people uh, and their viewpoints to get into the book themselves. So I persisted today and I listened to a little bit more and a little bit further into the first chapter it started to get more intelligent and more integrated although it still is touching uh, on a little bit of my you know I don't know if they're insecurities or my discomfort with uh, talking about God and this notion of God, but it's gotten more intelligent and basically just goes into talk about God 2.0. And while I'm not setting any any beliefs in motion with this or or doing anything from it, I feel I feel like it is an actual pretty intelligent point of view. Uh, that he's coming from. So, what this video is about it took me so long to get here. To the thesis of my video, the thesis of my thesis statement of this video, is that that feeling of uncomfortableness is really important to be around <laughs> because I think it highlights our own our own, I guess, weaknesses and our own our own shortcomings, really. Or even just things that we've procrastinated with looking into as people. Uh, we haven't examined enough or clarified enough to ourselves or for ourselves. And therefore, uh, we're uncomfortable having someone else tell us about it or talk about it around us so and I see this all the time with my friends like they're always very like either openly religious or openly not religious and I, I've kind of like gravitated away from both of those or I mean excuse me openly believing in God and openly not believing in God and my kind of point of view is that you don't really need to believe in it you don't really need to believe in what's real. So, and then also that God is just another word, another name for something. Um, and I think that sometimes we put different meanings on what God means. So, to avoid that, I just want to avoid that conversation altogether, at least right now. And get back to the point that of... Um, <clears throat> how being around listening to 
or being able to hear, listen, comprehend op opposing points of view while not necessarily being, while keeping an open mind, but an intelligent open mind where you're not being like sucked into it, but you're observing it is a very, very rare skill to have among, among people and something that I would suggest you cultivate in your life. Um, this will allow you to be around many different kinds of people without being discomforted or without making them feel discomforted. And it will increase your opportunities and your understanding in the world and it'll help you think for yourself. So, that is what I have to work on a little bit with myself too, is, is that thinking for myself, keeping an open mind, and um, <clears throat> and being open and accepting of other people's ideas while at the same time not being sucked into it, you know what I mean? And maybe you can work on that too, if that sounds like something that you feel is beneficial to you. Okay, well that's about it. I'm off for the day. Y'all have a good one now. Thank you. Bye.